Oh hey again. This is supposed to be the fifth and final installment in this series. However, we have hit a slight roadblock. I got called out to something uh, for work, and so I mapped it out. It's about a 500 mile round trip, and I have about 460 miles of range left. So I sort of did the like kind of cost benefit analysis between using the same pump or using the same tank. And I think using the same pump is probably more useful just in terms of standardizing this information. So I am going to top this off um, and then depart. And so it'll end up being a six part series sort of. So um, anyway, I apologize for that. I didn't see that coming and I wanted it to be, I wanted it to, re to remain constant. And uh, anyway, so 150 miles or so on this last fill up and um, pulling up to the to the diesel station now or like in a minute so we'll do that I'll show you guys all the stuff again and um, then I'll fill up uh, at the end of my next tank just so I get a, a full last tank that'll be a largely highway miles trip and so I'm actually pretty curious to see uh, what this shows after that I still don't think I'm through the break-in period with this engine uh, where I'm, you know 7200 miles my opinion again in case you haven't seen it in a previous video is I think it's probably closer to 10,000 miles so mileage has progressively increased I'm showing on the Lyo meter 21.6 miles per gallon over the last 150 miles um, so and that's been just typical like go uh, commuting to and from work nothing crazy it went up to my in-laws house uh, once which is sort of a pretty hilly area but it's only about 10 miles away from my place so uh, this has been kind of a, I guess, a typical tank. I just wish it had been a bigger sample, but we'll cover that in the last one. So pulling up now, let's hope the diesel pump is open. I'm gonna stay with the one that we've been on because that again, just keeping it, keeping it as the, the same as possible. So this has by no means been a perfect experiment, but I hope you find some value in it still. And I've definitely learned uh, quite a bit through this process. So. Anyway, I'll leave it running as usual and I'll show you all the stuff um, as I am able. All right, so doing some maths here, 150.8, and then divided by 7.505 equals 20.0932. So we got 20.1 miles per gallon, still a mile or a mile and a half per gallon off. So I think that's becoming pretty standardized. And let me show you clear all this. Clearing, average MPG zero, and clear the trip -a meter average trip -a meter clear. All right, all zeros. Hey right, guys, I'll see you in not that long to finalize this whole thing. Hope you guys are having a good week.